glory. Glory. Yes, I welcome you all to this special edition of Periscope. And I'm telling you, we are approaching a time and season in the kingdom of God that you need to be made aware of. Let me say it again. God bless you all for coming, but the announcement has to be made. Listen, April 26th to the 30th, at the appointed time of season, the appointed time and season in the kingdom of God is the Passover. And I'm telling you right now, Jesus is speaking loud and clear this year about the Passover because you need to understand Passover. Yes, April 26th to the 30th at World Peace Global Ministry and all around the world, Jesus has announced from his throne. Jesus has announced from his throne the Passover celebration. My God. The time and season of God and our Lord Jesus Christ. He sat down with his disciples and began to have a Passover feast. Yes, don't, don't worry about what is Passover. What you need to do is come to World Peace Global Ministries, the appointed time and season of God. And I'm telling you right now, there is an announcement from the throne of God that the appointed time and season in the kingdom of God is the Passover. The birth, the death, the resurrection and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. Passover is we going from death to life. Passover is the resurrection power. And I'm not sure if we're doing anything in Georgia, but in Florida, we are celebrating this time this time and season in the kingdom of God because this is the time where God begins to release, recover, and restore all things. I'm telling you right now. These five days is going to be powerful. It's going to be powerful because our Lord Jesus Christ is going to do exactly what he did. He's the same today, yesterday, and forever. God richly bless you. God richly bless you. And I'm here to announce to you this year's Passover is April. Yes, April 26th to the 30th. Love you too, Apostle Blair. God richly bless you. Yes, the Passover feasts this year is April 26th. God bless you, Prophetess Hannah. God bless you. Why do people believe in evil and not good? Because that's the world we live in. But don't worry, we're going to answer you. Listen, I'm telling you right now, the Lord Jesus Christ has announced this year's Passover. He's about to do something unspeakable in the body of Christ and all around the world. And anybody who will book an appointment with Jesus to meet him in these five days, April 26th to the 30th, the first Passover was from death to life. Yes, the children of Israel were in a place of death. But God sent Moses to deliver them from bondage. I'm telling you right now, this Passover, a lot of things are going to be broken. Yes, I'm telling you. God bless you. God bless you. I, re I receive the greater glory and weight upon my life. In Jesus' mighty name, for the body of Christ to become glorious. Listen, I'm telling you all right now. This 
Passover, we're going to experience not only the dunamis, but the ecclesia. I'm talking about the power of our Lord Jesus Christ over all the power of the devil for five days. This five days, Jesus said he's coming in power and glory to whoever will, watch this, receive the invitation to this appointed feasts. My God, I'm telling you, this Passover is an invitation from Jesus to sit at his feet or sit next to him at his table and dine with him so he can begin to share with you things concerning your destiny, your kingship. See that? Your placement, what you, what he died for you to receive. Jesus did not just die for your sins. No, he died for you to become a king. He died for you to become a son. He died for you to receive not only authority and power over the power of the enemy, but he also died for you to receive dominion, kingdom, and glory to rule and reign with him on earth. So I'm telling you, a lot of things are going to be restored in this Passover. I'm telling you, the ancient paths are going to be restored in our generation so that we can carry the dominion, glory, and kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ into our homes, into our jobs, to the nations, to the church. And the Lord is saying that whoever will accept this invitation to his appointed feast, he said to me that just as he he visited the disciples after he resurrected. Anyone who will celebrate this Passover, he's going to visit them for the next 40 days. My God, you got to hear this word of prophecy. I said, Jesus said to me that whoever will accept this invitation to this year's Passover and sit next to him and dine with him and celebrate the victory through the cross. He said, as I visited the disciples 40 days in a row and they received the power of the Holy Spirit, he said, a greater measure of visitations. He's coming with kingdom blessings, honor and glory to his obedient ones. And he said, he's going to pour out his spirit the next 40 days. In the kingdom. You see, he visited the disciples 40 days after he resurrected. I'm telling you, there's about to be a 40-day visitation from our Lord Jesus Christ to all who are obedient to this call. My God, it's the time of the rain and you need to get your umbrellas because it's a time of harvest. Yes, we're going to scope the five days of glory. Listen, wherever you are, I was just sitting here. I was just meditating. And I heard the Lord Jesus Christ say to me that announce, announce it to the people that this year's Passover is a special Passover because there's going to be release, recovery, and restoration. Not only that, but he said we are in the fourth month of the year. Listen. We are, on the, we are in the fourth month of the year. And the Lord said, wherever you did not sow, you will reap. Go and read John 4, 24 going. Jesus said, that are there not four months then the harvest? Oh, y'all didn't hear that. Y'all didn't hear that. Y'all didn't hear that. Listen, there are every four months, there's a harvest. Don't miss it. Every four months, there is a harvest. We are in April. And I'm telling you right now, the Lord Jesus Christ, I shall announce it, that it's harvest time. Harvest time simply means that your fruit is budding. The tree of life is budding. The tree of life is bearing fruit for the healing of the nations. I'm telling you right now, in the next 12 months, just as in Revelation chapter 22, that each month it bears fruit. For the next 12 months, I'm telling you right now, you're about to see fruit of your harvest. My God, restoration, release, and recovery. Not only that, but we are about to also enter into the destiny of the church to change the nations. 
The church must become glorious in order to carry out the kingdom and dominion of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you right now, I'm announcing to you from the throne of God, the Lord said he's inviting all of you to celebrate this year's Passover because I'm telling you right now that he is going to be your lamb. Your lamb. And worthy is the lamb to receive. You see, you are about to receive the lamb's inheritance. Total recovery, total restoration, total release. But you must be obedient and come and feast with our Lord Jesus Christ for the five days. He's welcoming all of us to come and what? Dine with him. Remember, before Jesus went to the cross, he had dinner with his disciples. See that? You have to have dinner with Jesus Christ. Sit at his table and let him feed you his flesh and drink his blood for the remission of your sins so that you can begin to carry his presence, his rest, and his glory and come into your promised land where your fruit begin to bud. I'm telling you, it's the time of harvest. Read John 4. Dinner with Jesus. Yes. He had dinner with the disciples. And before the children of Israel went into the wilderness, they had dinner. I'm telling you, the Lord's about to mark your doorpost with his blood. He's about to mark you with his blood for blessing. He's about to mark you. Listen, he's about to mark you with his blood for glory. Hey, he's about to mark you with his blood for power. He's about to walk. He's about to mark you with his blood. Death is going to pass over. And I'm telling you, the tree of life is going to be planted in your house. And you can, you're going to begin to see the fruit. The fruits. I hear the Lord saying that it's about to rain. Ask for the former and latter rain in due season. I'm telling you right now, I'm asking Jesus for the body of Christ and for the nations, for the due reign, both latter and glory reign, because it's the due season for harvest. What is harvest? All the times you have sowed in praying, fasting, weeping. I'm telling you, we are in that time and season in the body of Christ. Jesus said, I should I should announce that this year's Passover is an invitation to sit with him at his table. He is going to release the latter and glory reign these five days with him. And I'm telling you, everything the devil has stolen in hell is going to be recovered through this Passover. I'm telling you right now, Jesus went to hell to recover everything Satan stole from Adam to his time. Let me say it again. I said Jesus went to hell to recover everything Satan has stolen from Adam and Eve. And now it's in the hand of Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you right now, this Passover, Jesus said he's about to go before you. Everything the devil have stolen, destroyed or killed, he said he's about to release exceeding and abundant life. So get ready. April 26th to the 30th, I suggest to you that you meet Jesus at the appointed time and season so that you don't miss your visitation in this season. Good afternoon, Sister Mag. I'm telling you all right now, April 26th to the 30th is the first. Sorry, it's the second because we, we just had. Passover was one of the seven feasts God commanded Moses to celebrate. And there are benefits of Passover that is not being taught in our generation. Jesus did not just die for your sins so you can be saved. No, 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 no. He died for you to become a king. April 26th to the 31st, I'm telling you right now, Jesus said I should announce it on Facebook. 
in the church and periscope that he's about to visit us because after the fifth day of Passover, he is going to visit. Yes, there will be Passover service at World Peace Global Ministries, April 26th to the 30th. You are going to learn and receive unspeakable things that Jesus died for us to receive, such as face-to-face -face visitations. Do you know after Jesus resurrected, he visited his chosen ones? And the Lord, I should tell everybody right now that he is going to visit his chosen ones. Yes, for 40 days, he's, he visited the disciples. And I'm telling you right now, he is coming to visit you if you accept this invitation. April 26 to April 30th, there's going to be healing, deliverance, salvation, restoration, recovery. Not only that also, but there's also going to be direction, wisdom. Yes, because Jesus gave them instructions after his resurrection. My God. I'm telling you, face-to-face -face visitations, Jesus began to visit them after he passed over from death to life. You're going to be begin to receive visitations from our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, the 26th to the 30th, five days from a Tuesday. I'm telling you right now, you are going to learn unspeakable things about why God sent Jesus on earth. We are only being taught salvation. No, we need to learn the kingdom of God. Yes. So, yes, Jezreel just joined. The address to the church. Yes, let me give you the address to the church. Jezreel, you just joined. Kindly, kindly announce it on Facebook that Jesus has just spoken to me that he is inviting he is inviting all to meet him at his table during this Passover he said this five days whether we see here or our heart understand he's about to move in the dream and vision realm and begin to go before us and whatever the devil has stole killed or destroyed he said he's coming to bring abundant life what is passover death to life abundant life abundant grace abundant wisdom abundant mercy he said to me that everyone who come to this this passover all their sins are going to be forgiven their iniquities are going to be blot out i'm telling you i'm super excited yes we're going to scope it so you can also receive. Distance is not a barrier. I'm excited about this Passover. Listen, any mistake you have made in your past, even today, the Lord said this Passover, he's going to erase all our sins. And we're going to have a fresh start, fresh book, fresh chapter, fresh topic. My God. Fresh life, fresh chapter, fresh oil, fresh movement. So I'm telling you right now, April 26 to the 30th at World Peace Global Ministries. We're going to be celebrating the Passover. Listen, I'm going to be washing your feet the way Jesus washed their feet after the Passover. I'm excited. Jesus told me to wash the feet of all who come. I'm telling you, all who come. He said, I should wash their feet. He said, just as I salute you, Jezreel. God bless you. God bless you. He said, just as after the table, listen, right after Jesus had dinner with his disciples, he washed their feet. He said, if I don't wash your feet, you're not part of me. Hey, my Kandara Brusha. Listen, there's going to be washing of the feet during this revival. I don't call it revival. I call it kingdom dinner. My God. <laughs> Yes, I'm telling you right now. There's going to be wash on the feet. We're going to have dinner. We're going to eat and celebrate. But most importantly, we're going to be praying. Because right after Jesus resurrected, he said, go and wait on me in prayer in Galilee. My God, we're going to be praying. My God, my God, I'm excited. These five days, I'm telling you, you're going to have visitations from Jesus Christ. Listen, he told the disciples, after I resurrect, go to Galilee and wait upon me. 
We're going to have a kingdom dinner with Jesus. We're going to gather in the upper room and we're going to pray to the Holy Spirit come upon us so we can receive the promises of Father God. Yes, I'm telling you, the book of Acts shall be in motive. So get ready. I'm excited for what's about to happen in this, in this season. But you must be obedient and accept the invitation. See, when somebody invites you to a banquet, see, Jesus said, when somebody invites you to a banquet, you see, this is going to be a banquet of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're going we're gonna to dine with the Lord. We're going to learn revelations and mysteries. We're going to pray. I'm telling you there's going to be deliverance, healing, direction. And the Lord said to me that he's going to visit his people just as he visited the disciples right after his resurrection. Right after this Passover, you're going to begin to have visitations. And I'm telling you, it's going to, it's going to manifest. We are in the time and season of the due rain. You need to start asking for the rain. The rain. The, the, the Bible says what? He said, who is the God? Don't worry. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna answer you. Don't worry. But this is an appointed time and season. The Lord said, ask for the rain in due season. See, when the season comes, you need to know how to ask for the rain. And I'm telling you, we're in a time of harvest. It's time to ask for it. Listen, people of God, don't miss what the, the Lord is saying right now. The Lord said, whenever a season comes in your life, you need to ask for rain. Let me show you in the Bible. Give me one second. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Glory. Thank you, Sister Jezreel. Give them the... Yes, I'm telling you right now, the next season comes in your life. You need to ask for the rain. Yes, ask for the rain. Let me show you. Let me show you in the Old Testament where it says when a season comes, you need to ask for the rain for that season. Whatever season you are going through, you need to ask for rain. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Rain. Watch this. God bless you all for coming. I'm telling you right now, Jesus is about to send the rain. Listen, right after Jesus resurrected, the rain came to the 120. You got to hear this. Right after Jesus resurrected, it says, like a sound of a mighty rushing wind. Whenever it rains, there is wind. It rained on the apostles and they received power. I'm telling you, it's going to rain again. We're going to receive inheritance. My God. Come on, 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 come on. Yes. Rain. Here you go. Everybody watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Don't miss this. Zechariah 10. Zechariah 10. Ask ye. Can someone please write it there for them? Zechariah 10, 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Zechariah 10, 1. Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain, so that the Lord will make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one grass in the field. Did you hear that? Everyone's grass in the field. The Lord says he's about to give them showers of rain. Now, when he says showers of rain, it's different types of showers. Showers of blessings, showers of glory, showers of wisdom, showers of inheritance, showers of money. I don't know what the Lord's going to shower. Oh, I know he's going to shower the rain on us. Hallelujah. My God. Are you ready for the rain? He said we should ask for it. For, so for these five days, we're going to ask for the rain. We're going to ask for the rain in these five days. It's okay. I know everything I'm saying seems weird because it's a prophetic message. Listen, I'm telling you, these five days, these five days, the Lord said we should ask for the rain because it's harvest time. John 4, everybody, let me give you more proof more proof yes does rain mean abundance yes abundant life open heaven whatever you are desiring the law said you cannot just ask for it anytime it must be in a time and season and an appointed time these five days i'm expecting miracles yes i'm telling you may is the fifth month will it rain in the desert yes it does rain in the desert 
because the desert is a dry place and you need the rain to receive strength. Come on. Let me show you. Let me show you another one. Let me let me show you another one. John 4. John 4. I thank you all for your patience, but you need to hear this. April 26th to the 30th is Passover. The Lord said, everything that is death in your life, when we ask for the rain of life, it's going to pass over. He said, his blood is about to mark you. Mark you. His blood is about to mark you. You see? You see, watch this. Elijah asked for the rain in time of famine. Elijah. You see that? Elijah asked for the rain. My God. My God. I said, Elijah asked for the rain. You got to ask for the rain in its time and season. I like that quote. I like that one. But don't, come on, come on. No distraction. Come on. We got to go. John 4. Everybody watch this. John 4. Watch this. John 4. John 4. John 4. How? Oh, everybody, here you go. John 4, 35. Can someone write that down? John 4, 35 to 38. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't miss that revelation. Come on. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look unto the fields, for they are white already to harvest. And he that reapeth receiveth wages and gathereth fruit unto life eternal. And both he that soweth and he that reapeth, reapeth may rejoice together. And herein is that saying, one soweth, one reapeth. I sent you. Listen, he said, I sent you. I sent you. I sent you to reap that whereon ye bestowed no labor. Other men labored and you have entered their labors. I'm telling you right now, we're about to enter the labor of God. This five days is going to be five days of praises and rejoicing. We're going to praise the Lord. We're going to rejoice because... Where we have not sowed, we're going to reap because we are heirs of the Father. Lift up your eyes. I'm telling you, this five days is going to be impeccable. It's going to be indefatigable. It's going to be supernatural. And you cannot miss this five days because when Jesus books appointed times on earth, you have to be present. Amen, somebody. I'm telling you right now. So get ready. The days again are April 26th to the 30th. We shall be live on Periscope. And we're going to be asking for the rain five days straight. And the Lord's going to shower many types of miracles on us. I don't know what type of miracle is yours, but he said we should ask. We're going to be obedient. We're going to ask for the rain. We're going to, your feet is going to be washed and prepare you. My God, I'm excited, y'all. Jesus is going to be there. My God. So get ready for Passover. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be epic. The Lord Jesus Christ have announced it. When he announces something and you obey, he shows up. So, we're going to act for the rain in this season. Hallelujah. So God bless you all for coming on Periscope. Yes, send your friend a prayer request. I mean, friend request so we can keep up. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So God bless you all for coming on Periscope. This is your, this is your brother and friend, Andre Kofi Akiri. It's going to rain. Get your umbrellas ready. Because it's going to be thunderstorms of miracles. My God. I say it's going to be. It's going to be thunderstorms of miracles. Hello. Hello. 
It's going to be thunderstorms of miracles. So God bless you all. Until next time, this is your brother and friend, Andre Kofi Akiri. Yes, I'll be praying for you. God bless you. I'll be praying for all of you on here. So everybody, God bless you all. Everybody have a good night.